Hey guys, I just want to apologize for episode 3 coming out so late. Um, our our dear family member, Al, who was featured in episode 1, he passed away in March. So we've had a crazy month of March. Just been, it's just been kind of, just been crazy. And we were able to work on the bus here and there, but not much. And I've just been busy working on a tribute video for his family and... Yeah, but I mean, now we're we're back. We're working on the bus some more, so hopefully we can be a little bit more consistent with pushing out some content for you guys. So, yeah, I just want to um, give you guys that update. Also, I wasn't able to film like a introduction of this this video, so here's a montage of us working on the bus and getting and getting the ceiling panels off. day on the bus um you can see all of our we popped out all the lights all the speakers um security cameras so we're about halfway of taking the ceiling out um the panels and the insulation here's so we went halfway and that's what halfway looks like in terms of insulation panels all stacked up sheet metal um we also made sure to label our wires that are exposed. Yeah, so we had a very, very productive day. Hey guys, I just wanna show you real quick how you take down the panel. So after you unscrew all the screws that hold up the panel, you take a chisel and then you just hammer out off the, the panel by breaking the sealant. And you are going to run into some obstacles here. For instance, we run into the plate that holds the seatbelt to the captain's chair. And then here we ran into the emergency hatch. So you just have to keep in mind that, you know, you're gonna run into these things as you're taking the ceiling panels off and you can't really move forward until you move around these obstacles. So here, Jomar is just removing the wire uh, the wires to the emergency hatch um yeah so all you want to do is kind of wiggle it and then it pops off and then here jomar is putting the plate back on and getting the screws on just so that they're kind of in the a safe spot and that you don't lose these screws so after you get the ceiling panel off you're gonna get a um, sheet metal underneath it and then ours is held by uh, rivets so Joma here is just taking a chisel and a mallet and then kind of hammering off the head of the rivet so that came off really good um, uh, I think after a bunch of um, rivets he got pretty good at it but uh, yeah so all you gotta do is kind of rotate the chisel around the head and then you just keep hammering it until the head pops off And I think the most satisfying part about taking the ceiling off is removing the insulation because you can just see how easy it is just to peel these right off as opposed to doing all the hammering and um, pulling on the ceiling panels. Do you want to just explain real quick what you just did? Uh, basically what I did was I took this guy right here, got underneath the seat, and I, I just basically used the rubber hammer, rubber mallet, got underneath it, kind of just tied it up. Can you show um, how, you, like, where would you place the position of the mallet? Or the, here. the chisel? Okay. Because it's attached to this um, metal framing right here. Yeah, that so metal framing is attached there, and then so you just... Stick it under here, mm -hmm. push out, 
and it just pops up. You wow, have to okay. do like three or four of them. Okay, so that's what we have left. Cause the reason why we had to just take off the cushion is because it's hard to hard to reach um, uh, the screw that's um, back there that's that's holding it in place in the on the side. So with the with this, we would get more leverage if you took out the cushion. So now what's left is this, and what we did on this side, we took an angle cutter connected it to our battery that we had um, purchased. And then um, Joma just cut through, through the bolt and um, here, and it came off. So pretty, it was pretty easy. It was just um, that part is really annoying over here because um, of the levish problem. But um, yeah, maybe we just don't have good enough tools. Our tools are kind of like short and we couldn't get any good leverage on it. Hey guys, big day today. We are going to dump everything into the local dump. All that hard work is gonna go around the dump site. ceiling's done and yeah we'll be um moving on to our roof race hey guys if you're new to this channel please like and subscribe it would really help our channel grow since we are so new and we want to reach out to more people and hopefully help them on um, their schooly journey and don't forget to join the schooling gang <laughs>